Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Plapper. Platypus is the name. And really quick before we jump into the video, just want to say thank you to each and every one of my patrons. If you're interested in getting ripped off, I mean, if you're interested in becoming one of my patrons, please visit patreon.com slash perplatypus for more information. Anyway, let's jump into the video. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back with the Plapper. Platypus is the name. And today we are defeating Lamu. Finally, for the final time, I think I haven't beaten the game yet, but this is the second Lamu fight. Um, so there might be spoilers if you're not this part this far in the story, but obviously if you're clicking this, you're probably looking for spoilers of some kind. This is a two-phase boss fight, and what you're going to see is my live stream uh, clip right after this of my successful attempt. Um, and basically, just to give you a few strats, is um, the first phase is should be for you. Um, you should try to set up a team where the first phase is super, super, super easy to deal with, and you don't have to worry about it, basically. Um, the only trick to it is, is doing enough damage uh, after like three or four turns. I didn't actually encounter it on my second attempt. Um, this was a two attempt boss for me. The second attempt it, um, sorry, uh, but on the first attempt after three or four turns, they'll like the tentacles will like absorb someone. They'll do some damage. They'll get a really bad debuff. And then all the tentacles heal the full HP that are damaged. So, um, either focus down individual tentacles one at a time or do what I did and just kill all the tentacles with AOE before any of them get a chance to heal. And then when you get Lamu down to just the head, then you kind of reposition the fight for how you're going to want to start um, the second phase of the fight. They're still dealing damage, but it's not too bad. Um, but just keep in mind, the very first phase is weak to force. The tentacles and the, um, and the head are weak to force and weak to light. But then the second phase is only weak to fire which is kind of brutal i think um it does completely switch what you're doing but also it has resistance to dark has resistance to ice has resistance to force which are my um sorry has did i say light i meant ice if i, I may have misspoken there but ice force darkness all resistance which is my party's specifically strongest elements so it was kind of difficult there i kind of may do with um well, you'll, you'll see from the fight, but basically the first phase, try to get it through with AOE in the second phase. I say, make sure you're keeping your defenses up, make sure you're keeping debuffs on the enemy when you can, but most importantly, um, keep your defense and your evasion rates up. And with a little bit of luck, you should be able to get through this without too much problem. Also on the first phase, I don't recommend using Mega Tushi. Um, you'll see here. I think that if you have the default thing where you heal passively over time with the MP and the HP, it'll keep you kind of topped off for the second phase of the fight where you will need more MP. Um, and you don't want to have to start that fight with healing. It's a much tougher fight. Um, much, much tougher. And a lot of damage can come out really fast. So you kind of have to be prepared for it. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you like SMT5 content... I've got some of it on the page, but mostly I'm live streaming it, going through the full game. I do plan on 100% in the game, getting every, you know, compendium, doing all the bosses, yada, yada, blah, blah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for platypuses, for platypus. See you in the next video. Peace. All right, this first half was to be easy, but we want it to be so easy that we actually get to just do the second half. We're not going to be using our Mega Tushi. That's not bad. All things considered, good RNG in the first intro there. We missed on one of them. That is an R a start over, probably. Okay, maybe not a start over, but it's like close. That's like insanely bad. It's so fucking bad. You'll see how they feel about ice. All right, I mean, they're good with it. All right, let's see how, if we die here. Good miss. All right, we, we got renewed hope. Raise everyone's attack. Excellent. 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 
I think we're going to go for more damage here. Okay. Still get two turns, huh? Please don't Mudo me again. Thank you. Okay. I am interested to see if these will carry over. All right, so now we have to change our party. Right. He's coming in with a guy that's weak to only fire. Ooh, thank you. Thank you, Ninrak. No matter, I keep turning off all my notifications and they just keep coming through. I don't know how to stop it. Thank you very much, Ninrak. Um, okay, who are we switching now? Alice? Probably not. Well, you don't... I don't know. Maybe. Let's go. No, we need um I'm so stupid. We need a jockey in our party, which is you. How you doing tonight, Nin? That's Tarjunka, everybody. Thirty-five damage. Good job. I'm making sure your money's worth it from the dual streaming. I, hey, I appreciate it. I absolutely have dual streaming. That way, people can watch on both YouTube and Twitch. You get experience for finishing that fight, which is weird. All right, let's see if that starts a new series of fights. What a sight. Nice penis, bro. That doesn't that look kind of like a weird penis? Hopefully it's not a three-phase boss fight. Everything starts over. Got to change you out. Let's go. You are going to cautious cheer, make everyone buff. And unfortunately, no, I know you're weak to fire, so we could hold off on that for now. Just make him as weak as possible. Then we switch you out for maybe King Frost. I really need to know what you're weak against, honestly. Okay, I know you're weak against fire, but I mean, I need to know what you're resistant against. I need to know what you're resistant against. This is something I did not keep track of. So we're wasting a turn here. Lightning, light, fire. Unfortunately, our strongest power is in darkness. <laughs> darkness, force, and ice. Those are our three strongest. We're very... Lightning... In light, we have one character for each of those, but we don't have much for fire. Sir, what attacks do you have? I think you always start with the Silt of Ruin.
Definitely want to do this. We're fully defensed up. I'm very happy to see you. That is awesome. Thank you. I, I appreciate you being here. We need um you or you. You're weak to darkness. You're not weak to darkness. We'll bring you out. You're not going to resist this, though, unfortunately, because the buff was put on the other character. So maybe we should have guarded first. Nice and weak-ish. Everyone in our party got confused. Every single one, huh? I am interested to know who is weak to the confusion. Was it our main character? You're weak to confusion, so unfortunately, we have to change... We might have to change your stuff, because being weak to confusion is giving him an extra turn. That's not cool, bro. I think I need something that could heal here. This fight is so much harder than the first one. Mostly because that initial turn is pretty brutal. Always a crit. Oh my god, he's not... Ah... It's, I, for some reason, I thought he was weak to lightning, which he isn't. He's just not... That sucked. I was, that was my bad. I should have gotten the guaranteed crit there. Shitty ass attack. Shitty ass attack. All right, man, that's pretty nice. Mm. I guess he use a fire gem, right? You have to do your cautious cheer again. Because our goal is to have this guy fucking miss an attack. Eventually. Guaranteed crit doesn't make it strong. But it does give me an extra turn. This should put our HPs up through the roof. Might be time for you to start dealing damage. This does, uh, I know it says 25, but you get 10 of it back. So it's actually only 15. Yeah, but this is only 17. Yeah, but I kind of, you kind of want to keep all your MP right now. I think we just start using fire gems, fire shards with you because those are replaceable. Our damage is like shit right now. We definitely have to change out something that actually does fire damage like you. I think, sorry, I think you were here for a fire damage dealer. You have it too, actually. You've got um, Restore and Bloody Glee. And you've got all the good shit. We're bringing you in. You might have been better than Jack Frost in the first part of the fight because we don't need to switch you out for the second part. You don't have the defense down thing, but that's kind of like, okay. You are weak to fire, though, and or sorry, you are weak to darkness, which I did, I did forget, right there. Weak. I would love for you to miss, though. Sometimes, Megatushi. Okay, what is his Megatushi attack? Purple smoke, maybe. Like, it could be Silt of, Silt of Ruin. But it could be the other one as well. Um, you are going to use media and get everyone cranked. 
But I think right now you pass. You're in a very awkward spot, I'll admit. I know what I said before, but it's only 15. Augie just kind of sucks. Do I want to just guard? No. Good hit, by the way. 177 and a crit. So you are going to heal everyone. Right. We are going to... Well, let's take a look at our resistances here to... It's so much easier if you go to change. I wish it was the same screen for both. No one resists lightning. The physical one I'm a little nervous about, but there's not much I could do about that, I don't think. Let's just use let's just hope that it uses an electric attack. And we gotta get the damage in, so I don't think we uh I don't think we dick around. Plus he might just miss. Good job. More damage. Your turn. Go. So we could choose to bring in Alice for a big 600 damage hit basically whenever we want as well. As of right now, I do kind of like keeping um this stuff up, the dodge. I wish I could see his exact number. Judgment. Dark block would be really good. But I could have my next character use dark dampeners. I'd rather get the damage in while I can. You have 30 MP here. We can't afford to lose your MP. That's 10. This is where we just go to items, I think. You are going to regenerate some MP every turn. You're at 30 right now, so I'm interested how much it's going to go up. I don't know if the crit is where it's at. I think the free healing every turn is pretty good. He did do an attack. And now do Mudo. Bafula. All right. Well, that was kind of a waste. But we do know that he's definitely going to try to use Mudo next turn. Thirty-four. We gained four mana. That's not a lot. But just use your dark dampener now. It would be nice if this guy ever fucking missed an attack, right? We have double evasion up too. What are his stats, by the way? Like, does he have... He only has 26 agility. Like, I feel like he should probably miss something. I wonder if charm is, like, really good. I wonder, like, in Persona 5, you could, like, give enemies, like, a certain status that would make them commit suicide, like depression or something. Which is kind of morbid, I know, but it's also very good. We have the Dark Dampener on already. Uh, how much can you heal? I don't want to use a B. <laughs> Muscle Drink seems like overkill, actually. I kind of wish I wouldn't have done it. You have Mirage. That increases your chance to miss, right? Not exactly ideal. But it is a full heal for two actions, which is fine in a later stage of the fight. Stop that. Stop that. 
I mean, that's fine. That is a waste of a turn. He hasn't done the purple smoke yet, so I'm super nervous that he's going to do that and just crit us to fucking Narnia. All right, this is our last cautious cheer, which is totally okay. And the reason we're not using our Mega Tushi is because it is healing us every turn right now, which is very powerful. Almost dead. The ice thing is kind of sad. But if we get guaranteed crits on... Maybe we bring in a Jackie? Mm, no. I'm trying to think. Like, If I had an idea how much HP he had, we could just do one giant 600 HP hit. But that person has darkness and force. And so force is usable. I, mean, I could just have him use a fire gem, though. They got insanely good magic. That's Alice. So I guess the fire gem is still pretty sick. You're going to right now use the... Uh, electric dampener. Skills. I think we switch out. We switch you out next turn. I think we guard. Feels a little bit lame. But we're planning on taking no damage. But if they use the purple mist or whatever, we could be in trouble. All right, they did use the lightning, so this fight should be in the bag now. We should win. As, lo uh, as long as we don't, like, miss. Bring it in the Alice. It's gonna. It might be close, but I don't think it should be. Alice doesn't give a shit. She, if you miss, she's going to come in and finish the job for you. Don't even worry about it. All right. I would say, like, even though we handled that pretty well, not to brag, I would say that definitely seems to be the, uh, the hardest boss fight so far. It's not even close. That is significantly harder. You're, I feel like you have almost no chance on the first attempt.